I didn't know Bob Lee, but I, I know many people who knew him and I was getting texts. And obviously we feel really bad for him, his whole family, his kids, his father, his coworkers, friends. We don't know exactly what happened yet, but I think we suspect, and I would bet dollars to dimes, that the story is very similar to a case we had in LA recently, the Brianna Kupfer case, where a young woman was basically stabbed for no reason by a psychotic homeless person who had been through the revolving door of the jail and criminal justice system, who could have been locked up, who was arrested multiple times, but was not kept locked up because of this push for decarceration. And you can argue that maybe it'd be better for that person to be in mandatory treatment or in a, even a, maybe a, a mental asylum. But this idea of just releasing these people onto the street, I just think is an outrageous abdication of responsibility by our elected officials who run the criminal justice system, who pass our laws. And the thing I just wish is that I could lock for 24 hours the people like our supervisors or our governor or the people who basically make these laws or the people who are pushing for decarceration of these violent offenders by these nonprofits. I wish I could lock them up in a room for 24 hours with the people that they think are safe to release on our streets. Let's see if they really would take that test. Because it seems to me that these, these elected leaders and these nonprofits who are pushing for these outcomes, they are setting loose on us a predatory criminal or psychotic element that jeopardizes our safety and makes these cities unlivable. And we should not tolerate that. And quite frankly, the responsibility goes beyond those elected leaders. It goes to all the voters as well, because we keep putting up with this. And where was our governor when this happened? He was in Florida doing some sing-along at some high school where he was trolling Ron DeSantis because DeSantis had taken on DEI at that school. So that's where Newsom was. And he's extremely popular in California. Fighting culture wars instead of saving Fighting people. culture wars in a, in a distant state. Instead of basically fixing the criminal justice system in California, it's even worse than that because he's actually shut down two prisons and released lots of people. So where is the push for criminal justice reform in California and protecting the citizenry until the voters in San Francisco and California start demanding this, there's never going to be a change. And at the same so time, start Shema listening to Gary Tan, you know, yeah. just vote for whoever the f Gary Tan tells you to vote for. Okay. I, I think it's a probably a good, <laughs> I, I, I can't disagree.